This course is brought to you by Appy Pie as part of our Academy series. So in this video, we are going to make use of the Certifyme extension. I will explain you how to add the add-on for your Google Form in order to improve its functionality. And after that, we are going to make use of the Certifyme extension and enable certification for all the students who have passed out this quiz. There are two important steps to know before making use of the Certifyme extension. The first one is disable in the presentation section the shuffle question order option because according to certifyem the second question should ask the name of the person and this answer will be utilized while creating pdf certification for the particular person who is responding for this form and when you just enable shuffling the what happens is that the second question will not be the second question rather it will change and uh, the second question can be the third question or fourth question and hence it's better to avoid shuffling of the question order so I will, I will just disable this one and when I will just save it the shuffling will be disabled and the second question here will remain in the second position only so now let us add a question where we are going to ask the name of the person so what is your name And the answer type should be a short answer. So by default, Google has just detected it and chose the answer as short answer text. So here, the other thing that you have to do is that for this answer key, there are about 20 points assigned automatically. You have to just click on answer key and this question should have no points. So just give it as zero points. Just add zero value there. And again, come to edit question. And hence, this will be utilized while creating a PDF certificate if the respondent has passed out the quiz. The another important thing that you should know is that you should be only sign in with the Google account that you are using to create the form. So now here I am signing in with my account. If you have just signed in also with other accounts in this browser, what happens is that Certifyem will fail to authorize and when it fails to authorize what happens is that you cannot make use of certifyem add-on and hence you have to sign out of all the google accounts apart from the google account that you are using to create google form so these are the two important things that you should know now let us just click on more and click on add-ons in order to add add-ons for this google form here we are going to add the Certifyem add-on. Just click on the add button here. And when you click that, it will open a new tab where you have to sign in with your Google account. And you have to give access to this Certifyem add-on for your Google Drive. So after we have just signed in and uh, we have accepted giving access to the certifyem add-on now it will come back to the same tab where we are creating the form and here it shows us that the add-on will be available when you click this icon just click got it and now let us click this icon here the two add-ons that i am using are available i will just click on certifyem now i will just click on show certifyem controls when I will just click on show certifyem controls, it will open a new pop up at the bottom right hand side. And here you have to just click on turn on in order to turn on the certification for this form. The certificate records is the spreadsheet created by certifyem. Just click on certificate records and it will open a new pop up with a spreadsheet. Here you can see the different columns created by the Certifyme extension that includes the email, the full name of the person, the certificate ID and also the information regarding whether the person has actually passed out or not. And even the percentage score of a particular person will be available. Here the person means the student or the person who is actually 
attempting the quiz that we have created. The certifying records are different from the spreadsheet that you have attached to the response section of this form. Now you can just select passing percentage. It is 80% by default, but I want to just keep 60% as the passing percentage. After that, you can choose the template that you want to make use of in order to create the certificate. You should visit the Certifyum website in order to view all the templates or else just click preview all and it will open its website where you can preview all the templates. So here the golden template is the default one and it will be in this manner. When you click advanced, then it will open advanced settings. Then you can edit the message that should be shown upon submission. The name of the sender, the subject of the email, the contents of the body and the format of a certificate, whether it should be an image or a PDF. You can also share apart from email, you can also share with a Google Drive link. And it's better to have a look at the detailed instructions before changing all this advanced options. I'm going to just leave it as a default. And when I will just leave it as a default, then the subject of the email and contents of the body all will be the default text by Certifyum itself. So these are the changes that we have just made. Just minimize it. And now I'm going to attempt this quiz again. I have disabled shuffling and also I have removed the paragraph text answer because for that it requires for us to give the feedback manually. One other change that we have to do is that we have to go to the settings section and in the quizzes section previously we have chosen this option saying later offer manual review as we have added a paragraph answer type. Let us just change it to immediately offer each submission. And apart from that, let us add a different message saying the certificate will be sent to your account if you have passed. So the certificate will be sent to your email if you have scored more than 60%. I will just click on save. You should not forget to click save button. So I will just turn on certification and after turning on certification, I will just go to the preview section and attempt my examination. So now I will attempt this quiz and after attempting the quiz, I will just show you how the email will be sent, what will be the subject the name of the person from which the email will be sent and how the certificate will be. So I have completed the quiz and now after submitting it, you can see the message is displayed as hooray, you have successfully completed the quiz. The certificate will be sent to your email if you scored more than 60%. So of course I have attempted all the answers, right answers here. And now I will go to my email. I will open my email and show you how the email is. So guys, within no time, you can see here that I have got an email from Certifyum and the name is Certifyum itself. You can change it as I have shown you how you should do that in advanced settings option. And here the subject is your certificate is here for a simple quiz and when I will just open that the message will be congrats Indian you passed your certificate is attached to this email for you to download and print and uh, the certificate ID is also available here and when I will just open it this is how the certificate will be the name and the percentage and also the certificate ID is available. I don't know where which answer I have attempted as a wrong answer. I'll just go and click on view score. 
Oh, I have attempted this answer as wrong. It was camel actually, and hence I have got 80%. So this is how you can make use of Certifyum in order to provide free certificates for the person who attempts the quiz that you have created. So let us just go back in the simple quiz and now here let us just open the certificate records and view how the sheet is. So here the sheet uh, includes the time, the certificate ID, the total score, the percentage, and whether the person has passed or not. This is how the certifyum records will be. So I will just close this one. And now let us try adding advanced settings, changing the advanced options. I want to keep the name of the sender as engine only. Subject of the email. Hooray! You passed away. I don't want to add any contents of the body. So I will click on save changes. I will try to attempt the quiz again. So I will just attempt the quiz again. I will go back to my email and see how the certificate will be, how the email will be sent. So I will just click on refresh and it's loading still. And now I have got the certificate. Now the name is the name of the sender is what I have chosen, and the subject is "Hooray, you passed away." And this is how you can change the advanced options. The another important thing which I have forgot to tell you is the limiting option. In the general section, here you can limit to one response. So this requires the person to sign in in order to fill up the form and this is very important because you don't want the student to attempt the examination more than one time so you want to attempt them only for one time and hence you should limit the response for only one time and apart from that respondents can edit after submit you should not allow this they can see summary charts and text responses you can enable or disable that it's better to respond, send the response receipts for the people who attempt the quiz so they can analyze how their performance was. You can also choose whether if the response should be sent to him, the response receipt should be sent to him only when he requests. So by default in the presentation section as we have limited the form response for only one time this option has been disabled which is show link to submit another response so these are the different changes that you can do and now let me click save this is how you create a beautiful form this marks the end of the course and if you have doubt regarding any topic then please leave your question in the Q&A section. Apart from that, I have a humble request for you. Please leave a honest review about the course on Udemy.